I've selected this color for the this um, kind of amber that came um, in a package that was that was mixed up with um, other colors. So I just hand picked it and thought it would be a great color for the bourbon. Um, what I'm planning on doing is the following. So here, I in the computer, I printed out the label and then to the scale that I want because it's gonna go right in here this is the glass that I've chosen for the number 16 which is 16 years old and then what I'm gonna do to cut it in the machine and you don't have to have a machine you can actually do it tile by tile to just form a mosaic I'm gonna put right here um, cement um, rubber cement in the back of the paper and also I'm gonna put it on the front and in the mirror because um, this uh, rubber cement only adheres to itself so once you stick it together you'll be able to just rub it off from the glass but this will hold it in place while we're doing the cuts so here we go so what I intend to do for the label is have a piece of glass, of fusible glass, uh, and um, cut it so it matches the label. And then on top of that, I'm gonna cut the individual elements of the label, and then I'm gonna put it on top of the glass once they're cut out, and then fuse it together in a kiln. And the label is gonna be basically just one big part, and the rest of the mosaic will be in just different individual tessera. Okay. Now I have all the elements stuck together in the pieces of glass that I'm going to be cutting with the machine. And uh, again, you don't have to cut it with the machine. You can actually do a mosaic of every little single number, but I have the advantage that I bought this machine and I want to try it out. So then, once those elements are cut out, I'm going to put it in this piece of glass and then we're gonna put it into the kiln, which is right over, sorry about that, over there. Fuck, I forgot where my kiln is now. Well, I can't even see it. Right there. You see that little thing over in here? That is called a kiln. Now, this is the label of the scotch, it's called Lag Lagavulin and as you can see I'm only this is the composition that I'm doing of the bottle I actually took a bottle of wild turkey or some shitty scotch or whiskey actually and printed it, printed the label and I photographed it in a way that I can see the composition that I liked and this is the composition that I went, out, went with so now as you can see um, I'll, I don't need to do the whole label because of how I wanted to show it. Um, there is going to be only like four letters and a half. This element right here, which is right here. So, this is the number 16, which I'm cutting in uh, red. This is the symbol of the king with the crest and uh, four letters. And for that, I've chosen red, orange, and um, a black that has like a little dichroic shine to it. Notice that when I put the rubber cement, it went a little bit over. So, I, the how I explained earlier that um, this um, paper cement only sticks to itself, that's true. I am able to clean the glass only by rubbing rubbing it and the all the material that went out of the line I'm able to pick up so this doesn't contaminate the blade of where I'm cutting so I'm gonna see it's already clean now and then when I cut these pieces out I'll be able to clean it in the same way now with a um, with I am just marking with a sharpie where I'm gonna cut this glass and then I'm gonna trace it with a, with a glass scorer and it's gonna be the label. So 
I just put this piece of fabric underneath so the glass has a little cushion while I cut it. Otherwise, I might cut the glass. So, here we go. Make my score line right here. I just, you know, gently just tap it like that. It comes out, you know. And then I'll just do the rest. Sorry about the music, but that's the alarm. You should like it. Okay, so you know, I was scoring this line. This is too thin. I was pushing too hard. I don't have carpet underneath, so I I broke this glass. This beautiful glass. It's really expensive. I just fucked this up. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do next. So just so you know that when you do this sort of things, you know, it's not always perfect. Like they say on showing on different shows on TV and stuff. You go, go through a lot of problems when you're making a piece that frustrates the living shit out of you. Okay, now I turned the music down and I just bought another piece of glass. I don't know if you can see this. Ugh. Come on, focus. It's back. $13. I had to go all the way to Portland to buy this. But, you know, so I'm gonna line it up against this or I can have a template and put it in the market and I'm telling you I'm so lazy so I'm gonna kind of eye it and then I'm just gonna cut it with the machine so I don't go through this I mean I always this is the first time with the machine so I can cut it because now I have it but typically I can cut glass like a master and so yeah I went with the machine I cut this piece of glass that is gonna be the label and then I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna show you where the other elements are gonna go. So I am going to put, these are the letters that I cut out. And um, you see them? I cut them in the machine. I should have given you a little demo on how I cut them in the machine, but I might, oh fuck, I might do it later. Here we go. And then I'll put the other elements that belong here and here. And then I will put this in a kiln and then We'll fuse all these things together and um, then this will be the label which is going to be completely fused. The label of the wine bottle that is, I mean the whiskey bottle that is. Okay. So, okay. so I just want to show you something. Um, as you can see, these letters, there is something missing because the A has a little space or has a blank little triangle in the inside. This one doesn't have it because obviously the blade couldn't go in there. So what I'm doing, as you can see, this little triangle. What I'm gonna do is with, with a pair of nippers, glass nippers, I'm gonna cut a, little, cut a little triangle out of the same glass and I'm gonna lay it on top. And it's gonna show as if the A, both A's have a hole that show the, the background. And that's just like a little visual trick. These are glass nippers. They have these carbide wheels here, and then this is the piece of the glass right here. So I'm just gonna cut it, cut really easily. Um, and there's ways to hold it so you don't have that much vibration. I hold it like this, so if I hold it like this, the score line, this isn't even a score line, it might just go crazy. So I just hold it like my second sense tells me, pretty much. Sorry about not, not, able, not being able to explain that. So I'm just gonna cut a little triangle and then So this looks like an okay triangle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it right here. And you can see that that A already looks like it has some depth. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the other A and then we'll be hunky dory.